is for Burglar is a 1985 mystery novel by the prolific and wildly popular American fiction writer Sue Grafton. It is the second of her alphabet series of mystery books featuring Private Eye Kinsey Milhone. It is preceded in the series by A is for Alibi and followed by C is for Corpse. At the beginning of the book, the reader is introduced to a private detective based in Santa Teresa, California, who goes by the name of Kinsey Milhone. Though Milhone is a woman, she has the male name Kinsey because it was the name of her maternal grandmother, a wealthy debutante. In 1955, when Milhone was only five years old, she was involved in a car accident that killed her parents. This was a formative and traumatic experience for Milhone because she was left in the car for hours, sitting next to her deceased parents, before being rescued. Among Milhone's idiosyncrasies are her enjoyment of peanut butter and pickle sandwiches and a tendency to cut her thick, dark hair with nail clippers because she doesn't care much about her appearance. That said, she is incredibly physically fit, running three miles every Monday through Friday, despite the fact that she also lives on fast food because it is quick and convenient. Milhone has no children and has been divorced twice. The case in B is for Burglar concerns a woman named Beverly Danzinger, who hires Milhone to track down her missing sister, Elaine Bolt. Danzinger's motive for locating her sister, however, doesn't appear totally altruistic. Bolt's name must be signed on some paperwork before Danzinger is to receive a hefty family inheritance. No one has seen Bolt since she got in a cab on the way to the airport, where she was to fly to Boca Raton, Florida, as she does every winter. Initially, Milhone is unimpressed by the intricacies of the case, believing that it is a simple enough job for the police to handle. Nevertheless, she accepts the job from Danzinger. Milhone's first assumption is that Bolt made it to Florida, so she flies to Boca Raton. There she meets Pat Usher, a woman who claims that she subleases Bolt's Boca Raton property. Milhone, however, can find no proof of this other than Usher's word, and so when she discovers Usher at Bolt's apartment, she finds it suspicious. Milhone also meets an elderly woman named Julia, whom she trusts enough to spy on Usher and the property while Milhone returns to California, believing that Bolt never made it out of town. Milhone's suspicions of foul play grow when she discovers two crimes at Bolt's apartment complex back in Santa Teresa. The first is the death of Marty Grice, Bolt's neighbor who was supposedly killed in a botched burglary that resulted in her home catching fire. The second is a break-in at the apartment belonging to Tilly, the building's supervisor. Tilly is charged with retrieving and holding Bolt's mail while she is away. Milhone suspects that the burglars are after Bolt's passport. Finally, Milhone's own office is burglarized by would-be thieves on the lookout for information on Bolt. Following all of these dramatic developments, Milhone insists to Danzinger that she contact the police regarding Bolt's disappearance, but Danzinger violently refuses. Out of Bolt's suspicion of Danzinger's involvement in the disappearance as well as Danzinger's unstable behavior, Milhone tells her she will no longer work for her. Milhone is still concerned about Bolt, however, so she continues to investigate the disappearance, now on behalf of Bolt's neighbor, Julia. The prospect of Danzinger's involvement increases when Milhone discovers that Bolt was having an affair with Danzinger's husband, Aubrey. Another big suspect is Usher, who disappears after trying to get a driver's license in Bolt's name and leaving her Boca Raton apartment a mess. But what about the connection to the woman Marty Grice, killed in the botched burglary fire? Milhone tracks down Marty's drug dealer nephew, Mike, who admits he set the fire. Based on a number of inconsistencies in Mike's story to Milhone and his story to the police, Milhone infers the truth about Bolt's disappearance, that Marty Grice and her husband, with Mike's help, killed Bolt so Marty could steal her identity and accept the inheritance. Marty got plastic surgery to look more like Bolt, but in the meantime she's been going by the name Pat Usher. In the end, Milhone is able to confront Marty and her husband and, following a dangerous gunfight and standoff manages to subdue the couple until the police arrive to take them to jail. B is for Burglar is a thrilling detective yarn, one that also further develops the fascinating character of Kinsey Milhone for readers. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.